Hello guys, welcome to my channel and watch my tutorials. This is a session to show you how to create a buffer zone around map features with ArcGIS. Buffering is a process of creating a buffer zone around map features measured in units of distance or time. A buffer is a useful tool for proximity analysis. It is an area defined the bounding regions determined by a set of points at a specified maximum distance from all nodes along segment of an object. Buffer should be single or multiple link buffer. Sometimes, as a JS user, you will be tasked to identify the protected zones where human activities are prohibited, referring to a specific features. In this session, I'm going to buffer Kivu Lake as a polygon, Lucy's River as a polyline, and I will choose Hospital as a point. Let's go. Actually, let me go to Start Menu, and in this ArcGIS package, let me open ArcMap. Let me cross this. Actually, it's better to save the project first uh, by going to File. I scroll down to Save As. And uh, this is not where I will save the project. Already I will go up one level and create a new folder here and call it buffering. Just click here on this let us buffering. Yes. And I need to open the folder created and let the name of the project be buffering. And then I click on save. Actually, our project have been saved successful. It's better first of all to create a working space, a scratch space of your database where your data will be stored. So I will go in the catalog here in on home folder. I will do like a click on it, scroll down to new, then create a your database and then call it buffering. Buffering and this buffering your database will store the output that we will be generating. The next point is to add data that we need to analyze. In this session, we will buffer Kivu Lake and we will buffer Rusiz River and we will also buffer any district the hospital that we want. It will depend on us, our choice. Let me first of all add Kivu Lake as have been generated in the previous session. To do so, I will need to go to file, just go to add data and click on add data and then this is not where I will fetch the data I want. Uh, I will need to go to home folder first and go to up one level. No, this is not the place. Actually, let me click here and uh, I will scroll to GI tutorial as the folder have been created and they go to and let me choose this yes and then in the data dissolve I will choose data dissolve your database and uh, I will fetch Kivu Lake dissolve click on add actually Kivu Lake have been added another thing that we will need is to add data that we will analyze and we will fetch Lucy's we will extract the Lucy's from under river data to do so let me go to file scroll down to add and click on add data and uh, let me click here I will need to go to where uh, my data are restored let me choose this and the uh, rivers are in natural resources let me bring rivers Add. Yeah, actually rivers have been added on our map. So I will extract Lucy's river from this rivers layer. Another thing is to add hospitals because you will need hospital. To do so, let me go to file to add data and click on add data. Just go up one level and uh, choose health feature data set. Then click on hospitals and click on add. Actually, hospital data have been added in our map. So it's better first of all to go back in table of content and uncheck uh, hospital and the rivers and we will come back to them later. Actually, we have only Kivu Lake. So I'm going to buffer Kivu Lake. It's better for us to apply a single buffer. Suppose that Gwanda Environmental and the Management Authority, REMA, is tasking you to identify the location or the protected zone where human activity are prohibited from Kivu Lake Shore. So let us here use, for example, 500 meters or a half kilometer from Kivu Lake Shore where human activities will be prohibited. To do so, I will need to buffer this Kivu Lake. So let me go to Arc Toolbox. In Arc Toolbox, let us choose Analysis Tools. 
and in analysis tools let us choose proximity tool set and uh, inside uh, you will see buffer and even multipolling buffer and uh, all those tools in proximity uh, will help us in a proximity analysis but now we are dealing with buffer so let us open buffer input feature here will be kivle dissolve of course and the output feature class will be the name and the, the location where we will save our output remember that you have been created a geodatabase of buffering let us click here on a browse we are it is not here of course let us click on go home folder and uh, this is buffering geodatabase let us open it and uh, the name will be kivu buffer And then let us click on save. And uh, the distance here, linear distance will be five. But let us keep a meters as a default. And remember that we are going to use 500 meters. And um, in this side types, let us choose outside only. I need to buffer outside only. And the planner method will be the method that we will use. The, the subtype, let us choose or And uh, let us click OK it's fine actually upon zooming and zoom you see that kivu lake shore have been buffered uh, so from the shore of kivu lake uh, by respecting the distance of 500 meters you see that the area the zone that will be prohibited from human activities is identified this is much perfect this is how you will do and this does help us to protect this water body this kivu lake against human activities that will destroy environment around kivu lake so that is much perfect even let me go to table of content and uh, change the color of this give lake buffer to yellow it's much better and uh, even the outline with let me choose red and click ok actually you see that give lake shower have been a uh, buffered successful and even upon you go back in Ishgui island you see that the buffer have been created there another thing is to buffer a polyline and uh, remember that you have choose to buffer Russi's river and uh, we have added the river data in our table of content let us go back there and uh, check rivers and actually it's that the rivers available so uh, actually i know that this is Russi's rivers and they remember that the name of rivers are not available so in the case i know this is Russi's river yeah i can select it as quick as possible let us use selected by features I need to click here on the select by features and uh, I will need to select to see the river. Actually, you see that it is selected and then go back in the table of content. Do like to click on liver data layer and scroll down to data, then click on export data and then browse to where I can save my output. Actually, it's not here. I will click on go to home folder and uh, open the buffering to database and let us give the name of Russi's river. And then click on save okay and yes actually russi's river have been generated successfully let me go in the selection and uh, clear selected features and uh, it's better to go back in table of content to uncheck the rivers of the whole country and you see that i have only this river the next point is to buffer this russi's river let me click here first and uh, i will go back in the arc toolbox and then choose buffer input feature will be Lucy's river and the output feature class will be the output that will generate actually let us call Lucy's buffer one yeah Lucy's buffer zone yes much perfect click on save and then a linear distance let us keep um, 500 meters like what you have done on the Kivu Lake so this is much perfect and the side type will be full because it is a line and the end type let us choose flat and the method let us choose planner yes let us leave it as default and then dissolve we will dissolve all and then click ok actually lucy's river have been buffered successfully let us go back in the table of content and then you can change the color of mm. buffer zone let me choose this yellow it should be okay and even the white line will be red as usual yeah actually here you see lucy's river have been buffered successfully yeah this is much perfect and uh, 
up on your pan it you see that all river have been a uh, buffered successfully so from the river shower to the end of a uh, buffer zone it is a uh, 500 meters and uh, have been applied on both side left and the right side so uh, again let me check this buffer of Lucy's and we are going to apply multiple link buffer on this Lucy's liver to do so let me go back in the uh, arc toolbox and uh, uh, go back in uh, analysis tools in the proximity tool set and uh, instead of choosing a buffer tool let us open multiple link buffer and the input feature will be already it is Lucy's river and the output feature will be Lucy's river but multiple link uh, multiple link and the scroll link yes this is perfect and click on the save so distance one will be 500 meters of course distance two will be one kilometer or uh, 1000 meters distance three will be 1.5 kilometer and the, the fourth distance will be 2000 kilometers yes let us skip this and then buffer unit will be meters and the distance already it is a 59 and they will dissolve all as it is indicated here and then let us click ok yeah this is the output actually you see that multiple link buffer have been applied successfully let me go back in table of content and they change the color of liver uh, to this or let me take it as red <laughs> but liver is not red or already we will choose the color of river but now it's better to take it red as uh, to, to make people identify the river as well so actually you see that river is this and uh, from river to the first link buffer you see that this is 500 meters and from this 500 meters to this it is already 500 meters as a distance so from here to here 500 meters from here to here it is one kilometers actually uh, you will respect only 500 meters from each link buffer to each link buffer this is the way you will uh, analyze the multiple link buffer it depends on the task that you are going to follow actually let me go back in table of content and uh, and check this multiple link buffer let me uncheck it again and uh, even i can uh, bring back the buffer zone of Rusis river uh, but only respecting 500 meters another thing is to buffer a point so Actually, remember we have been said that uh, we will choose hospital to analyze. Hospital is a point already. And you have been added the hospital in our map. Let me bring back the hospital. And you see that uh, here at the hospital. So I'm going to choose only one. Let me go in to uh, take selected features and uh, then select this one as a default I don't know uh, the name. You have to select it and go back in the uh, table of content do like to click on hospital data layer and uh, scroll down to data then click on export data blouse to where you can save the output then it is here of course let us call it choosing hospital choosing underscore hospital then you click on save and okay then yes uh, actually let me uh, go in the selection and then create selected features let me uncheck the hospital of the whole country and you see that i have only the layer of the chosen hospital yeah even on the map you, you see that i have only a chosen hospital let me change the icon uh, into this one and uh, you can resize the width uh, 215 maybe or 14 yeah it's okay let me click ok you see that uh, the icon have been changed so uh, the next point is to buffer this point we have seen how to buffer the polygon how to buffer the line this river and we are going to buffer any specific point this hospital to do so let me go back in the arc toolbox and choose buffer already and uh, let us open it uh, my input feature will be chosen hospital and the output will be a uh, hospital buffer hospital underscore buffer and then click on save uh, actually the distance will be uh, let me take one kilometer yes one and then i can change uh, the distance from meter to kilometer one kilometer it is thousand meters and uh, even yeah let me choose method as planner and dissolve as or and then click on ok 
yeah much perfect you see that our point have been successfully buffered this is one kilometer so uh, you can analyze the distance from the target point to one kilometer and even uh, this zone should be very close to this hospital this is much perfect this is how you will analyze buffering and even you can apply multi-polling buffer it depends on your analysis thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you find important and helpful to you please subscribe like and share see you guys in the next video